what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to increase your fps in rust so stick to the end guys i'll tell you step by step how to do that and uh before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right onto my channel it would really mean the world to me so uh you would support a little youtuber like me and uh yeah subscribing is free for you guys and would be a massive support for me so be sure to hit the subscribe button i'm gonna thank you for that right now and i would say just let's get right started so uh in order to increase the fps in rust there are several things to do and the first one is gonna be to open up your files and you're gonna uh go to this pc so right here you know right click it and afterwards you're gonna go to properties once you click on properties, this window sh will show up and you're going to navigate to the right corner of your screen where it says change settings. Once this window pops up, you're going to go to the third one where it says advanced and uh, on this window, you're going to go to settings at performance. Um, in this particular window, you're going to go to adjust for best performance and afterwards you're going to hit apply. This will help you a lot with increasing your FPS. The next step is going to be to navigate down to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to hit the window symbol and hit settings. Once this window pops up, you're going to go to system. Um, we're going to stay or stick to display and the first thing you want to do is to identify which monitor you're using. Obviously, this will only work if you have more than one monitor. So uh, just identify which you're using for playing the game. Once you did that, you can go down to scale and layout and uh, be sure to be on 100% uh, of the size of apps and other items as well as tags. Um, the next thing is gonna be to go down to display resolution and you're gonna check if this resolution right here is the same as the native resolution is in game. So for example, if you're using a 1720 by 1070 in, in game, you're gonna also apply it on the display resolution right here. So once this is done, you're gonna go to notifications and actions. So the third one right here, and here you're gonna basically just check for uh, it to be off because first of all, you don't want uh, biggest notifications popping up in the right bottom corner of your screen where you need to just tab out of your game and swipe it away. It's really annoying. And uh, second thing is your PC needs to render it. So uh, you're just taking some performance uh, for your game when you turn this off. So just turn it off. The next step is gonna be to go to power and sleep, so the fifth one. And on this particular particular window, you can't really do anything. You're gonna go to the right side and click on additional power settings, where you go to high performance. You're gonna basically apply for high performance. This could lead to overheating or some kind of noise. If you can't compensate that by, uh, I don't know, just using your cooling system or positioning your PC in another way, uh, you would probably uh, need to uh, just turn it back to balance, but if you can keep it on high performance, this will help you a lot with your FPS. The next step is gonna be to go to storage and hit the blueprint where it says configure storage sensor, run it now, and you're gonna copy my settings. So every week, 14 days and 60 days. This will basically help you to blow out every single temporary file which you're currently not using on your PC, which is just consuming up space and uh, storage this will lead to uh, less performance so you need to copy my settings and hit clean now afterwards this will help you a lot um, once you did that you're gonna basically turn back twice to our main settings where we can choose where you want to go and we're gonna go to gaming right here um, the first thing which will pop up is our game bar um, once we are at our game bar we're gonna check if this is turned off because it just only uses our performance and we don't really have any benefits from using the game bar so just turn it off the next step is going to be to go to captures right here and that's a big step because you all of us just know if you record something our performance will suck a lot especially as pcs uh, with uh, low-end pcs or older ones recording will just take a lot of fps so just be sure to turn this off of course we don't want windows to record in the background and Guys, if you want to record something, you're probably gonna use a more uh, useful program for that and not Windows, so just turn this off. Next is gonna be game mode. Uh, here I need to say for AMD, probably it's better to turn it off. For Nvidia, it's better to turn it on, but it's specifically for your PC. You just need to check which one suits better for your system. Just check for it. 
Once you finished here, you're gonna go to update and security right here. Um, once you're at update and security, we're gonna check for Windows uh, to have the latest version. So if you don't have the latest version, download this just to provide the best possible performance for our PC. And uh, yeah, we finished that, we can close this one. And uh, I highly recommend also to download the latest version of your graphics card in order to provide the same, so the best performance, possible performance for your PC. Um, the last step is gonna be to navigate down to your taskbar and hit right click and open up your task manager. Once you're here, you're gonna ensure that you close or end every single app and hint, uh, background process, which is currently running uh, and using your CPU or GPU performance. Just end every single task, guys. Trust me, it will help a lot. That was the last step. I hope I could actually help you out of this video. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right onto my channel. It will really mean a lot to me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.